chapter 12. We're going to move on now. Uh, we're in verses 49 through uh, 52, and we want to talk about Jesus, the divisive decision. Jesus, the divisive decision. I have come to set the world on fire, and I wish it were already burning. I have a terrible baptism of suffering ahead of me, and I'm under a heavy burden until it is accomplished. Do you think I have come to be bring peace to the earth? No, I have come to divide people against each other. From now on, families will be split apart, three in favor of me, two against, or two in favor and three against. Jesus, the dis divisive decision. Well, here we are. Uh, Jesus said he came not to, he came to fulfill the law. We know that he, there are certain things that he came to fulfill. And uh, obviously he came that the world would know God, that the world would know God through him, through his earthly ministry, through his sacrifice, and certainly through him being resurrected. But here, uh, it's just, it, it, he is. He is the person that is divisive. Just as he has said here, I have come to set the world on fire, and I wish it were already burning, I have a terrible baptism ahead of me, suffering ahead of me, and I am under heavy burden until it is accomplished. Do you think I've come to bring peace? No, I have come to divide people. He is the divisive decision, you know, decision of life. Where you stand on Jesus will divide you, there is no doubt. All you have to do is get into the public airways. Uh, people don't want to hear it. Uh, there are people who embrace they're on one side or the other. It's like there's no middle place. And that's just the way that it is to be. That he is. You know, uh, we have campaigns where we are uh, just uh, introducing him, meeting, you know, people, millions, literally millions, that we have been able to encounter. And that's exactly where some people are so pleased and some people are completely abhorrent to presenting him whatsoever. And two, like he said, two against me, three, four. Three for me, two against. That's exactly how it is. Make sure that you are on his side, that you follow him, that you're intimate with him, that you're into him, that he's first and foremost. Let others fall aside. Let them fall away. Be behind them. Be before them, whatever the case may be. But when it comes to Jesus, be with him. And let everything else fall the way it may. Father, we do. Oh, 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 oh.